Welcome to the Man of Recaps. This is Marvel's Secret Invasion. We begin with our favorite CIA guy, Everett Ross, who's getting a report from an agent about a crazy conspiracy theory of shape-shifting aliens. I don't know, buddy, that sounds pretty far-fetched, but turns out Agent Ross is one of them. How many people have been replaced by scrolls? Remember, it was in Captain Marvel back in the 90s when a young Nick Fury first encountered these shape-shifting scrolls, but they turned out to be good aliens who are refugees just trying to live peacefully. And Fury befriended them. In fact, ever since the end credits of Spider-Man Far From Home, Nick Fury's been working with them on a space station that we now know is called Saber. But with the secret invasion going on, now Nick Fury comes back to Earth. He meets up with his best human friend, Agent Maria Hill, and his best alien friend, the scroll leader Talos. Now Fury had promised he would help find the scrolls another planet to live on, but Talos breaks the bad news. Uh, the scrolls are sick of waiting. They voted him out and voted in a new leader, Gravik, whose plan is to kill all humans and take Earth as their home. Apparently scrolls are immune to radiation, so Gravik's plan is to impersonate humans and incite nuclear war, so humans will extinct themselves and the scrolls can live in peace in a nuclear wasteland. Indeed, Gravik's living at a radioactive power plant in Russia where he's got like a bunch of scrolls living happily, but also mostly they're a terror organization that's body snatching humans and then keeping them in their brain pods. One of his top lieutenants is a young woman. Oh snap, it's Khaleesi. She's transporting a bomb when Talos catches up to her, but turns out this is Talos' daughter, Gaia. She's a true believer in Gravik's cause until her dad reveals it was Gravik who killed her mother, so now she realizes she's been working for the bad guy. She helps them try to stop the bomb plot, but it's hard to trail Gravik when he's a shapeshifter, and by the time Fury catches up to him, it's too late. Boom! Blows up the Russian festival. And on the way out, he shifts into Fury and shoots Maria Hill. Yes, this is not a fake out. Agent Maria Hill dies. The scrolls framed the Americans, so it's gonna start World War III, but luckily one of the advisors to the president is our friend, the war machine, Colonel James Rhodes. Fury's like, hey man, scroll secret invasion, but Rhodey's like, I don't know, bud, that sounds pretty far-fetched. And with the video footage that Fury was there and shot Maria Hill, it's like, sorry man, you're disavowed, <laughs> you're fired. So Fury goes home to his nice little house, but there's a scroll in the kitchen cooking dinner. Oh snap, they're married. Nick Fury has a secret scroll. Scroll wife. Yeah, since the 90s, Nick Fury's been working with Talos and a small group of scrolls as his own personal secret shape-shifting spy group. One of them was this scroll woman, Vara, and you know how it goes, they fell in love. But their marriage isn't in a great place right now because she thought he was dead for five years when he disappeared in the snap. And as soon as he came back, he ran off to his space station, so she's feeling a bit abandoned. And now she gets a visit from Rhodey, who turns out has been replaced by a scroll. Gravik wants her to kill Fury, and so they have a tense breakfast. Mr. and Mrs. Smith both shoot each other. But yeah, they both missed on purpose, so it's a good sign they're still in love. So Fury's gotta stop Gravik's next plan to have the British shoot down a plane. Gaia, still undercover, goes into this guy's brain to get his abort password and they stop it just in time. But Gravik suspected he had a traitor, now he knows it's her and shoots her! But earlier she discovered Gravik's secret project where he's got the DNA of a bunch of super people. Because scrolls are so adaptable, they could take these powers and Gravik wants to make himself a super scroll. So Gaia snuck in there and infused herself with the extremists, remember from Iron Man 3, that yes gives you healing powers and she's all right. So as the president's going for peace talks, Gravik scrolls are posing as Russians and try to assassinate the president. It's up to Fury and Talos to save the president, but oh, Talos gets shot, which makes him start turning scroll. Fury tells everyone he's on their side and they get the president out of there. But now the guy helping Talos was Gravik in disguise and he finishes the job. And again, it's not to fake out, Talos dies. With the scroll secret out of the bag, fake Rhodey has to shift gears and tell the president the scrolls are working with the Russians, so we gotta bomb them. Fury figures out this Rhodey's an imposter, but he can't really do much about it at the moment. So Fury gets help from his British spy friend, Sonia Fowlsworth. She's a hilarious character who's been hunting scrolls herself and being very British and quippy. Now, Gravik only has some super DNA. Mostly he uses the Groot arm. What he really wants is the Harvest, the secret blood samples that Fury took after the battle in Endgame, which includes just every super person in the MCU. So Fury suits up for the final battle. He pulls his trench coat out of one locker, then his eye patch out of another, then a single pistol out of another. I don't want to tell him his business, but it seems like those could have all fit in one. So Fury busts into Gravik's compound, although her Remember, it's irradiated, so he's dying. But Fury's like, hey, I brought you the harvest. If I give you this, will you go conquer some other planet and leave Earth alone? That's kind of a weird plan, especially because Gravik can just take the powers and conquer Earth anyway. He fires it up with Fury still in there because he's not to scroll, it wouldn't work on him. And now buff Gravik is Captain America going in to kill Fury, but oh, what's this? Yeah, Fury did get the powers too, because that's not the real Fury. Surprise, it's Gaia. Now it's time for the super scroll fight, and oh, they both got the powers of Vault. All the Avengers, uh, they can only like turn their arms one at a time, I guess, to use each power. So it's a big punch out with lots of Hulk arms, but they both got Captain Marvel powers, which are maybe the strongest of all and lets them fly. And in the end, it's Gaia who gets Gravik and blam, kills King Piccolo with the Kamehameha. 
She rescues all the humans from the brain pods, including Agent Ross and the real Rhodey, who apparently has been down there for a while. Fury, meanwhile, has spent this whole time trying to convince the president that this Rhodey's a scroll. Finally, though, he just shoots him, which, yeah, would have been the fastest way to prove it. So the president stops the nuclear launch and the day is saved. Except this ends up causing more problems because the president missed the distinction between the good scrolls and bad scrolls. He just tells everyone the scrolls are invading and they're all evil. This sets off a wave of violence as people just start shooting anyone they think might be a scroll. Sonya Fallsworth at least understands there are good scrolls, and she teams up with Gaia to figure stuff out. In fact, they find another secret brain pod lair, but we don't get explained uh, whose this is. As for Nick Fury, he feels his job is done here, so he's going back to space. But this time, his wife Vara is gonna come with, and they fly off to live happily ever after. So that's where Secret Invasion comes to an end. If you liked this recap, hit that subscribe button for more of the best recaps of TV and movies.